Hey everyone, welcome to World of Warcraft, The Legend of Burned All. We are in the Searing Gorge at Iron Summit. We've been doing some jobs for these Thorium Brotherhood folks. So, um, yeah, let's see what else they've got for us. In the Hall of the Mountain Lord, and who might you be? An emissary from the Thorium Brotherhood? They're looking for my support? Fine, I might be willing to help out for a price. Well, typical of Dark Iron Dwarves. Uh, the Dark Irons and Black Rock have nothing on me. Neither do these boys at the Pythorian Point. I'm as independent as I can be, and that's the way I like it. Of course, for the right price, I'd listen to either side. Oh, so he'd actually work for the bad guys. Let's see. That Overseer Oil Fist couldn't, couldn't have picked a worse time to ask me to join a fight. My summit's already under siege. It's nothing my guards can't handle, but still, it won't be easy for me to just pick up and send some dwarves into that infernal gorge. Tell you what, you take out their marksmen that are holding our fortress under siege, and I'll consider your offer. You'll find them slinking around the flats to the east. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but my tower is much taller than any of the other towers here in the gorge. Some dwarves pride themselves at how deep they can dig, but not me. Sometimes I think I should have been born a wild hammer. I still don't like the sight of those towers, though, reaching up like that, tickling my tower's feet. Here, take this torch and use them on the braziers atop those other towers. They'll be sorry they ever built them to begin with. Uh... Uh, maybe I shouldn't tell them that braziers are meant to be set on fire, but okay. And those gorge-digging dwarves do at least one thing, right? They make very high-quality bullets. I've been unable to reproduce their results, so I've taken a stealing whatever bullets of theirs that I can find. You want my help? Get a couple hundred of those bullets from the marksmen below. I'm sure they'll be happy to give you their bullets one at a time, but you might find it faster just to look for crates filled with them. 200 bullets okay <clears throat> I mean at least they like dancing I mean that's kind of uncommon amount of dwarves I only have an innkeeper let's go ahead and make this in our home and let's see do you happen to have aha look at this these dwarves have flagon of dwarven mead I think I've Got some thunder ale. Let's see, that's strong. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna replace place our uh, <clears throat> we're gonna replace our stocks with real dwarven mead, and let's go ahead and get some uh, uh, dwarven stout while we're at it, and maybe a jug of Badlands bourbon for special occasions, and. Oh man, we've got even more stuff. Okay. These guys might be evil. They might be working for the wrong side, but at least they know how to how to brew some beer. Okay, let's see. Oh, mail. And I had some stuff on the auction house. Some stuff that actually sold. Yay. Okay. And more quests. Agnes Flimshale. What's on your mind? There's so much we don't know about the Incendosaurs. Where did they come from? How do they survive out here on the flats? And why do they taste so bad? The key to understanding these prehistoric beasts, I believe, starts with the Fire Gizzard. Every Incendosaur has one. I'd like a few of them to study. You'll find Incendosaurs cycling the foot of the Iron Summit, mostly to the west. Okay. Um can help out with that. Get six fire gizzards. Uh, stable master, or flight master. Uh, what else we got here? Blacksmithing supplies. General goods. I think we're probably good here. So let's, uh, where are we going? Let's see. So, like usual, we will pick a direction and then we will circle around and take care of all the others. In fact, okay, we're actually going to go ahead and take care of this guy while we're here, too. Hmm. I wonder.
wonder if they're going to send us further out. Ah. No sense taking any chances. Yep, we're going to get shot at on the way out. And hey, they were right. We are going to get bullets one at a time. But, um... Yeah, let's see. We are... Which... Hey, don't attack my horse. Okay, there's war coral golems. Okay, five. Lumbering relic. Some grass, more spiders. Leave me alone. Uh oh. Well, there's some ore. Not 100% sure how to get back here. Hopefully this loops around. Yep, that's what it looks like it does. There he is. We've got to fight Margol the Rager. Hey, come back here. Stop running from me. Gigantic horn. Yeah, so that quest is for back in Thorium Advance where we started out, but be sure to go back and turn that in uh, pretty soon here. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and turn it in now. Then I can Hearthstone back to here to Iron Summit and we can go and knock the rest of those out. But, um,. Yeah, so, um, this is funny because, uh, I'm gonna get attacked by everything here, aren't I? And that's what I get for running through their camp. But, um, what I was gonna say is, I didn't even think we were gonna go through Searing Gorge. I don't honestly even remember Searing Gorge. Ah. Man. Well, let me stop talking and see if I can actually survive this. And, uh... Wow, there's still more guys shooting at me. Right? Oh, there we go. And let's, uh, heal. Because I don't want to die. And he's shooting me through, apparently, rock. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, definitely, despite how awesome Birdall is, if I go and run through a Dark Iron Dwarf camp, um, I can still expect to get killed a lot. Uh, but what I was going to say is that, um, yeah, Searing Gorge has actually been pretty cool. And I don't remember it at all, either from my time uh, playing as the Horde or back in the day when I was playing Alliance. So uh, this is all kind of newish to me, or at least it's from so long ago that I don't remember it. Well, let's see, we give this guy his horn. Yep, this was Margol's horn all right, no doubt about it. Barnabas was a digger like me. He never stood a chance in combat against the beast. I'm glad you were here to set things right. I'm glad I could help. And let's Hearthstone back to uh, Iron Summit. Check our reputation here with the Thorium... Uh, Thorium Brotherhood. We are already honored with them. <laughs> okay. But let's see what we can do about setting some Towers ablaze and killing some marksmen and doing all the things. Anyway, um, yeah, I really don't remember this at all, but uh, it's a cool little plot line. Ragnaros and the Dark Iron Dwarves and all the different factions, none of them particularly good. Well, when I say that, they're just all Dark Iron Dwarves. I guess some of them are okay, but... Who are these guys? 
Oh yeah, they're dark iron dwarves too. Okay, let's get some bullets. Let's kill the incendosaur. Get his gizzard. Kill some more marksmen. Um, yeah, when we were originally going through the Badlands, I thought I was going to get to switch directly to the Burning Steps. But uh, this little side uh, jaunt into the Searing Gorge has been kind of cool. The only thing I'm not sure of is, it seems like um, Blasted Land, Searing Gorge... Um, Uh, Searing Gorge and uh, Burning Steps, they all have kind of a similar theme, right? It's like, yes, we're in the wastelands, yes, everything's been burnt to a crisp. There's ho ho holes and pits and fire elementals and... <laughs> but, hey, I guess that's why they pay, burned all the big bucks. And when I say pay them the big bucks, what I mean is they don't pay them anything at all, but, you know, give them quests and stuff. Uh, let's try to avoid the el elementals for now. Let's see. So, uh, in between sessions, I, I, I keep harping on this, I know, I've talked about this at least a half dozen times, but in between sessions I have been, I occasionally go and run to uh, Iron Forge and sell stuff on the auction house and see if I can pick up enough um, ore to be able to level up my blacksmithing ability. Um, as if you have not been around for very long, uh, Brindal is uh, Brindal is a blacksmith and a miner. And mining, I'm not having any problems at all keeping up, uh, keeping leveled up. But um, blacksmithing uh, has been an issue because we. Uh, we tend to, even though I'm not using any heirloom gear, I'm not uh, using any kind of buffs, I'm not using any, I don't have any external help. Um, we're still, we're out leveling content. Um, we level up way faster than, oop, gotta catch myself on fire here. Um, we are leveling faster than, you know, like I'm doing most of the quests, and in the process of doing most of the quests, I am um, okay. There's the next one. Um, in the process of doing all the quests, I'm actually out leveling. You know, like I'm I'm too high level for the areas that we're in, um, which works fine for leveling, and it works fine for even mining. I think I'm doing a good job of keeping my mining leveled up, but what's happening is um, like to adequately uh, level up blacksmith, you know, you need a certain amount of copper in order to you know, make enough things to level up, let's see so like I've been making these uh, copper gauntlets and bracers and all this stuff and that's how you level up blacksmith Thing. But um, I'm actually running out of enough ore to level up my blacksmithing. So like right now we're getting iron and mithril ore, but I still need copper ore in order to level my blacksmithing up. And I have been so far unwilling to go back to low level areas just to mine some uh, copper. So I've been going back to Iron Forge and trying to buy it on the auction house, but it is very expensive. Um, that's one, you know, so like one good thing for if you were just joining World of Warcraft now 
is that there's a lot of content for low-level characters. Because another thing I've talked, I have probably haven't talked about is the fact that you know Berndal has been going down a path. You know, he's been going through an er a set of areas while he's leveling up, but I mean, there are at least, at least for these low levels, there are at least four different parallel paths you can take. And I mean, and when I mean paths, what I mean is for any given area, uh, for any given uh, level range you're in, there's usually about four different places that you could be leveling in, which means there's like four different, you know, completely different quest chains and quest paths and people you could be working with and different stories going on. Um, and with a few exceptions, I mean, that means that you could, you could almost level like four different characters and never do two of the same quests with a few like exceptions of like some of the bigger quest chains from your capital cities or whatever. And that's not true. When you uh, get higher level, that's really not true, but at lower levels it is. Um, but the downside is because everybody is, the number of characters are so much higher level, like your average character on a server like this um, will still, even though uh, Berndal's level 50, uh, my guess is that most characters on the server are higher level than he is. And there's so many characters at max level, which is 110 right now, that what they do is... Like, if my level 110 character decides he wants to start uh, doing blacksmithing, I'll just go to the auction house and I'll buy everything that I need to level blacksmithing up. I'm probably not going to go back to level one areas and start looking for copper um, and it's relatively easy to do that because when you're level 110 you literally have thousands and thousands of gold it's not even a problem getting that much gold uh, tch, tch, tch. let's go there um, yeah, so it's not even a problem getting thousands of gold. So if you go and you need to get a couple hundred copper pieces and, you know, spending two, three, five thousand gold is not an issue. So you do it because you want to level your blacksmithing up and you don't want to spend a lot of time in areas that you have long since um, out leveled. Now, the problem with that is when you're playing a level 50 character and you only have a few hundred gold you can't afford to buy the materials you need to level up your your um, your professions even though like copper um, I mean any level 10 miner can go around and, and uh, get copper which is also kind of nice in a way, because it means that if you need gold, um, you know, your level 10 character can go and you can go mine copper and then sell it for hundreds, if not thousands of gold. Um, so it makes it easy to level up, or level up, it makes it easy to make gold, even when you've got lower level characters. But if you're trying to level up a profession, it means you either have to do it the long, hard way of um, actually gathering all the materials yourself, even though you're out-leveling the content, and that means you're going to be spending a fair amount of time in areas where you're not going to be getting any experience. You know, the quests are going to be super easy. You know, um, I mean, I guess if you're interested in just doing some of the stories, uh, and it doesn't bother you that, I mean, when I say super easy, Brendel is sitting here two-shotting everything. Well, I mean, like, sending him back to level 10 area where if he looks at something wrong, it's gonna die. Um, 
but you have to do that in order to level up skills like blacksmithing or engineering or tailoring because the alternative of going to the auction house and buying the materials you just can't afford without a high level character that is capable of making thousands of gold I mean, like right now we're sitting on 75 gold and granted I've spent some of that in the auction house you know buying a little bit of of uh, copper here and there just to keep leveling the blacksmith thing up but um, uh, I don't have nearly enough gold to do it all at one shot so anyway um, so I'm actually I've got like 142 iron bars and 97 mithril bars because I can't make anything for that I can't make anything with my blacksmithing yet because my blacksmithing is not high enough level it still needs um, okay, and that was our last quest. I I still need um, copper to make bronze bars because uh, bronze bars are our, um, what I need for all of the orange and yellow recipes that I still have, which are the ones that are going to do the best job of leveling my my character up. I mean, I suppose I have this one, but this is still copper. Uh, bronze, 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 copper. So, yep, even at level 145, I still need copper. And uh, here, there's no copper to be had. Everything is... Everything here is iron or mithril or gold, which is not bad. I mean, I'm not complaining. Well, I guess I am actually complaining, but... Um, It's just a strange situation. Ooh, a giant spider. Let's take care of that while we're over here. Let's see, we got some greater lava spiders. Okay, let's take care of Rectalac. Sneak up on him. Oh, didn't sneak up on him. Yeah, yeah. Cha. Wow. There, nobody will ever have to worry about that big giant spider ever again. Or until you respawns. One of the two. Anyway. Um, all of that was a very long explanation, talking about why sometimes if you follow the series, um, I will end a session and I'll be sitting there at like 150 or 200 gold, maybe not 200, but you know, over 100 gold, and then when I start playing the next one, I've got like 40 gold. It's because I went and spent some gold on copper ore. Oh, speaking of which, let's uh, sell some stuff and repair our gear. Okay, that is a slight upgrade. Let's go ahead and equip that. Yep. Can I get Sell that, and that, and that. Elemental Earth. And yeah, let's go ahead and sell it. Uh, sell, 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 sell. And the funny thing is, um, you know, I've been trying to sell some of this other stuff. Is, uh... Ore and oh. herbs tend to sell really, really well, because people high level characters, use them to level stuff up, but not a lot else tends to sell that well, so Welcome. it's almost not worth it to try to sell other things on the auction house, at least on the server from what I've seen, but uh, ooh, these are nice. Now leave me alone with my gizzards. I've got studying to do. She starts poking the gizzards with a stick. Yes, very interesting, very interesting indeed. Well, that's very scientific. I'm gonna poke it with a stick. And oh, I think is that what we just replaced? I think it might be. Hmm. Okay, let's see, innkeeper, and let's talk to Mountain Lord Rendon here. Okay, so I killed some of those marksmen. If nothing else, you 
bought us some more time and some room to open up our supply lines through the siege. You're a fine paladin. Thank you. And I set those towers ablaze. Looks like you know how to light things on fire and Admiral Trait and any dwarf for sure. And I collected some bullets. A real paladin would have caught the bullets with his teeth. I actually caught some of those with my teeth inadvertently. I'll just divvy these up amongst the guards. You have my thanks. Uh, Kev Kevlard vest. That's funny. Um, what? You're still here? Oh, did I promise that I'd help you help the Thorin Brotherhood in your flight? I lied. I just can't spare the men right now. I know I said I'd help, but there's absolutely no way you can convince me to leave Iron Summit right now. Absolutely no way. Find a way to convince him to oh, join. Man. So, they might brew decent beer, but... Speak with Lunk at Iron Summit in Siren Gorge. Oh, Lunk's here? Lunk, our pacifist ogre? Where is he? Is he gonna help me convince uh, Mountain Lord Rendall here? Let's see, where is he? It says he's up. Okay, so I obviously just passed right by him. Uh, oh, there he is. Hey, Lunk! He's dancing. He's having a good old time. Well, 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 look who came searching for Lunk this time. This sounds like a cask a case for Lunk's unique brand of no kill problem solve. Lunk not smart, but Lunk noticed things. Today Lunk no noticed that Mountain Dwarf likes to watch people dance. Lunk liked to dance. Berndal liked to dance, probably. Maybe we find some more dwarves like that that like to dance. Then we go talk to Mountain Dwarf and he'll listen to Berndal. Speak with three Iron Summit guards and ask them to join your dance. Okay, we can do that. Hey you, you can come dance with us. Care to join our dance? <laughs> Apparently, uh, you just, heck yeah. Yes, I'll dance with you guys. We're gonna have a flash mob from the Mountain Lord. You wanna, you wanna join us? A three dwarf conga line. Let's do it. Dun dun ch dun dun. A dun dun ch dun dun dun. Ch ch ch. Yeah, he does like people dancing. Do 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 do. Ch 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 ch. Dun 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 dun. Hey. Want to join our conga line? Did I stutter? I believe I clearly stated that I won't. Wow, you've got some good moves there. I'm impressed. Damn straight, I do. All right, all right. If I knew you could dance like that, I wouldn't have asked you to do all that stuff earlier. Tell Overseer Oil Fist that I'll be joining you, and I'll meet you in the slag pit, lad. With the combined forces of Thorium Point and Iron Summit, those gorge dwarves won't know what hit them. Okay, who knew? So, mental note, uh, iron, uh, let's see, what are these guys? Iron, okay, I'm totally blanking on what these guys are, but, uh, oh, dark iron dwarves. Dark iron dwarves like to dance. Dancing is not a, uh, it's not a common, uh, trait among dwarves, you would think, but, uh, yeah, let's go back to Thorium Point and let them know that we've got help. Ugh. Okay, I'm apparently taking the uh, the painful way around. Ow. Sorry, logger. And, uh, yeah. I wonder if that's just the Iron Summit Dwarves or if it's all the Dwarves. To be fair, those are the first iron dwarves, I've, dark iron dwarves I've seen dancing, but uh, maybe he just, uh, maybe that's how he recruits. He goes and has dance parties, and then when everybody, ah, no, leave me alone. When uh, all the dwarves wake up from uh, a hard night of partying, they find out they've been recruited Okay. I'm heading the right way, right? Yep. Thorium point.
point. That was so much ore. I can't ignore this. Sorry, you're in the way of my ore. Got some mithril. See, this is really strange, because, um... Like, the mithril and the gold that we find here, I'm not even leveling up on anymore. So, I am more than keeping up with my mining skill. It's just my blacksmithing that's fallen behind because of the copper situation. I don't know. Maybe that's intentional. Maybe they want you to... Uh... Maybe they actually want you to use up um, more ore than you would get on your own. You know, to help uh, make mining a lucrative profession, even if you're not blacksmithing or engineering. I don't know. Okay, hey, Overseer. So, Renan's on our side. About time that oaf came around. Let's get moving then. Putting you on a flying machine, Burndall. You'll be responsible for softening our landing into that slag pit. Speak with your flight master here in Thorium Point, then fly down to the gorge. Once you near the landing point, there will undoubtedly be hordes of dark iron dwarves waiting for you. Use our flying machine's guns to take out as many of them as you can. Then land at the cavern's entrance. Rendon should be waiting for you by the time you arrive. Speak to the Thorium Point flight master. Okay. Good. Well, that's him right there. Oof. Hey. Talk to me. See you soon. Are you not the flight thorium point? That's where we are. Speak to the flight master. That's not you. Oh, did I not? Uh, in my rush to jump down here and start the quest, I don't think I actually accepted the quest. Okay, let's try this again. Talk to me. Okay, yes, I will actually do it. There, now, there we go. Oh, that's still not what. Yep, here we go. Okay, I'm ready to f take the flight. I'm ready to take the flight to Cauldron. Alrighty. So to use the machine guns, I don't see any machine guns in this thing. Pew pew. Of course, to be fair, I also don't see. Clear the terrace for landing. Shoot at the cauldron defenders. Oh, there they are. Pew pew. There's a bunch of them. Uh, get them all? Yay! All right. And there is Rendon. They're still dancing. Well, here we are. I hope you're ready, Burndall. Let's go. Okay. Much like Overseer Maltorius, I'm a rich dwarf. However, I earn my riches through hard work and wise decisions, not through slavery. Okay, fine. Very little slavery. Hardly any. Anyhow, the first thing that I see inside these caverns are slave drivers and taskmasters. I won't stand for this. As you progress through the cavern, kill as many as you can. Report your results to Evanus Suit Smoker, deeper within the slag pit. <clears throat> Of course, we'll want to free as many slaves as we can while we're here. Most of them will uh, likely join forces with us, anxious to fight against their captors. However, sometimes you'll find that slaves are resistant to being freed. It's a strange phenomenon, often called Durnholm Syndrome. Either way, you should try to free them. If they resist, treat them as enemies. Report your enemy, your result to Evanus Soup Smoker. And Overseer Maltarius is in charge here, but he's not the only dwarf of power in the slag pit. Lethoric the Black and his horrifying 
Golem Obsidian loom just down this corridor. Interfering with his altar should summon both of them. Find it, then summon Lothoric and kill him. Report to Evanus Suit Smoker when you're finished. Okay. So. So, kills. Slavers. Not a problem. And free slaves. Hey, you're free. Ow. I'll never leave. I wouldn't know what to do outside. That's awful. Aren't you guys coming with me? Oh, once again. The, apparently the battle plan is we'll stay here and guard the entrance while the paladin goes and does all the work. I, you know, it would be nice if once in a while they would actually go and fight with me. Which is one nice thing I will say about uh, Alliance that we've usually when the Alliance goes and asks us to help out, they help out too. Slave Master Blackheart. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Nope, your guys are going down. Because I have to rescue all these slaves. Let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Apparently these slaves actually, like... <clears throat> it's possible that some of these slaves are just very poorly paid. Uh, but we're here to rescue the ones that do want to leave. Are you here to save me? Yes, I am. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, see, he'll help. And we'll get some true silver while we're here. Okay, he helped very briefly. Come on, let's get out of here. Ugh. Man. Intruder, the intruder is trying to save me. Let's get out of here. Okay, so far the knoll is the only one that's actually thanked me for sla saving him. The dwarves are not quite so appreciative. Come on, let's get out of here. Ugh. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Good. There. Okay, so one knoll has uh, thanked me, and uh, one of the like five dwarves I've saved. Okay, there we go. Another person that's thankful. And how about you? All right, somebody else. Okay. And we hit level 51, which has opened Black Rock Depths, Upper City. Man. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay, that's it. Tell you what, I'm gonna go clear these slavers out, and the folks that are coming up behind me, they can take, they can go and free the rest of the slaves. Okay, let's see. Slavery is bad. Slavery is bad. Uh, we need two more of these guys. Hopefully, there's two more up here. Yep. There's at least two more up here. And you. Okay. Oh, I got a key. What's the key for? Grime Silt Outhouse Key. Have I seen an outhouse? I mean, not that I necessarily want to break into it, but I mean, I do have a key. Okay. Let's... Let's 
let's uh, take a look around. Okay, it looks like... Looks like the altar I'm looking for is right up here. The obsidian. Oh no, he's actually just dead. Oh, there's a dying archaeologist. Hey, hey buddy. No? Okay, altar of Santara. And there's the or the Lathoric the Black. Hey you. Yeah. I heard that you and your golem are causing problems here. And slavery is bad, buddy. Rawr. Okay. And we'll mine him. And Okay, so we took care of that too. Uh, let's see. Looks like we need to continue up here. Yep. Yeah, these dwarves are fast. Or jumpy, one of the two. Okay. Let's, uh. Lager's not good for very long in here, but he's uh, good for short distances. Okay, I'm gonna get this aura first. Ebonus Soup Smoker. Well met. Uh, okay, slavery is bad. You've done good. I don't like slavery either. Strange how so many of the slaves cope poorly with freedom. It's a shame to have to do what we do, but such are the truths of war. Now we must move on to more pressing tasks. A fight well fought, Burndall. I'm beginning to feel the tide turn. Now when you're ready, let's hit these dark irons where it really hurts. Well, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to go and hit the dark irons where it hurts next time. But it seems like we are getting to... Uh, seems like we are going to soon find out who's behind these dark iron dwarves that are... Um, Working for Ragnaros, and uh, with the help of these Thorium Brotherhood folks, we'll uh, we'll get an answer and make uh, the Siren Gorge a safer place. But uh, we'll have to do that next time. So for now, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.